Thank you very, very much. They can make anybody look pretty good up there, huh? These guys did a fantastic job. Thank you, John. It's a great honor to be among the Distinguished Paradigm Award recipients. The mission of the Panhellenic Scholarship Foundation means a great deal to me as the first male in my family to have gone to college. I'm delighted to be here this evening, my hometown Chicago, and I appreciate that I'm able to share this moment with my family and friends. Tonight is about preserving the legacy. To do this, we must pass the torch between generations. As I look out on the crowd, I see several generations of friends. I'm thankful to see here this evening generations of friends that have known me since I was a child, as well as a generation of scholarship recipients, including some that I have known since they were a child. My background is similar to many others here tonight. We probably all heard some of the stories growing up about family members who arrived in America with only $5 in their pockets or walked miles and miles wearing, with holes in their shoes walking to school. Holding to their Spartan roots, my parents raised me to work hard and take pride in my Greek heritage. They always stress the importance of education. I can still remember my mom not letting me leave the dinner table until my Greek school homework was done. <laughs> While my father would sometimes work two jobs so that his kids would get a shot at a better future, the American dream. When it's time to go to college, I decided to go to Brown University. But my road there wasn't clear cut. I received football scholarships from several schools throughout the country. But Brown was where I wanted to go, and my gut told me it would be the right place for me. Unfortunately, like other Ivy League schools, Brown didn't offer athletic scholarships, and tuition costs were going to be hard for my family, even with several academic scholarships that I received. My dad encouraged me to follow my instincts and go out east. He said, I don't care what it costs, we will make it work. He, in turn, followed his gut and added tuition insurance to my monthly bill during my sophomore year. For $16 a month, it would ensure the tuition would be paid in a grave situation. Two months later, he passed away unexpectedly. His intuition and extra sacrifice made the difference to my future. Going to college had opened up a new world for me, but losing my father at a young age also meant I was struggling to adjust to new responsibilities. It was up to me to make sure my family was provided for while I continued my studies at Brown. I couldn't turn to my father for guidance, and I missed him very much, as I do even today. What I could do was remember his advice and the example he set. Because of his legacy, I was inspired to keep setting the bar as high as I could for myself and to trust my instincts. After I graduated, I found myself facing another difficult decision. My family missed me and wanted me to come home. That would have been easier in, in the short run because I missed them, but my gut was telling me the best way I could fulfill my duties as head of the family was to go to Wall Street. I sought to emulate my parents by working hard and purposefully and making the most out of every opportunity. By following that course, I became the youngest investment banker and later the youngest CEO on Wall Street. <laughs> to our scholarship honorees, you have already achieved a great deal at such a young age. You embody the values of Hellenism through your academic successes and hard work. As you navigate the next chapter of your life, you carry with you hopes 
and aspirations, not only for your parents and grandparents, but also those people that you may not have met, including the late Mr. Tamaras and the donors to this foundation. My advice to you is to remember what your parents, family, and Hellenic culture have given you. A heritage that inspires you to pursue great things, whether that is in business, law, medicine, arts, education, science, or social work. I could be looking out there right now at a future president, the person that may cure cancer, or perhaps a Pulitzer Prize winner. Your experiences as Greek Americans are likely to be different from those our parents and grandparents. You probably won't face the same challenges that they did, and the stories about coming to America with $5 in your pockets will become more distant. Even so, you will face adversity and moments of self-doubt. There will be times when you will wonder which road to take. Whatever you choose, my advice to you is never lose sight of your own star. Trust your instincts in life and be self-motivated. This is how you can preserve the legacy you have been given. Tonight, we are also here to celebrate a legacy of Mr. Tamaris and his dedication to building a better America through education and Hellenism. I'd like to thank the team at the foundation, including the board of directors chair, Robert Bueller, the executive director, Yanni Valsamas, and the treasurer, John Manos. Through your leadership and dedication, you are carrying the torch. I know that many of you already support the foundation through your generous donations. For those of you that are just getting to know the foundation's mission, I hope this evening inspires you to support Mr. Tomorrow's legacy and the young people it benefits. Finally, tomorrow's Father's Day. I continue to be humbled by the example that my father's set for me and the legacy he gave me. To all the fathers who are here tonight, happy Father's Day, and thank you all for what you do.